the brand new iMac 27 inch that just got launched in August has been plagued by graphical glitch that people suffered buying the high end 2700 XT GPU. Many users have reported seeing flashes of white lines and it's unclear whether it was a hardware or a software issue. In this episode, we'll be talking about the 2700 XT glitch and also how to fix it. One person reported that after getting the iMac 2020, when he was working on it, from the corner of his eye, he saw a horizontal white line flash midway upon the screen. It was really fitting and he thought he was just seeing things. And the following morning, he saw the same thing again. The computer wasn't running hot or anything, he reported, and he ran iStat, and the menu says all cores were not overloaded on the uh, CPU or GPU. He did recall that he had the same sort of issue on the MacBook Pro 13 inch back in 2019, last year. And after a software update, it cleared things up. This issue I've been asked on this channel as well, whether I've experienced it on my iMac that I'm testing out at the moment. And as uh, I've told everyone, I have, I have to date not experienced this glitch at all. And my 20, uh, 20, iMac with the 2700 XT runs beautifully. I've even installed Boot Camp. I've not had any issues. I've had custom drivers put in as well. I've got a test that I ran on that. I've got the video of that linked at the end. I did run into some issues on Fortnite for that, but you guys can check a full video out. Now, good thing today is how to fix this issue. Apple today announced that Mac OS Catalina is getting a 10.15.7 upgrade update which is basically a security and a bug upgrade now the last one was 10.15.6 now what it says on the website is that basically it resolves an issue where mac os could not automatically connect to wi-fi networks fixes an issue that prevents files from syncing through to icloud which is uh, I have experienced that issue. Addresses a graphic issue that may occur on iMac with the Radeon Pro 5700 XT. Now, that clearly fixes up. Guys, if, you've, if you're getting this issue, all you have to do is basically go uh, log into your computer, go onto your settings and go to update, software update, and update it to the latest version. If you don't know how to do that, just turn on your iMac and leave it on for about 10 minutes. You should get a, and it should be connected to the internet and you should get a notification saying a new update is available and go ahead and just install it. You'll need a restart. I've already updated to, uh, updated mine to it, even though I didn't need to. All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode. I really appreciate your time. Uh, you guys have a great day.